Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotzesD and welcome back to Factorio. If my counting is correct, this will be the third last episode because um, after next Monday, the DLC Spaced Out will be out and uh, I will be focusing on that. But as you just saw here in the beginning, we are done with our uh, energy weapon research. So let's now do all seven robot speed. Um, and then probably focus more on uh, mining production. Maybe also uh, damage, but that's good. Uh, speaking of research over the last hour we uh, had a solid stretch and it looks like uh, we're hitting the dump just right now uh, but we consumed constantly uh, 300 science packs per minute and uh, we can we produced also the, the same amount and I think um, what I want to try, no promises though, uh, let's get that up to 600, which would mean uh, 10 science packs per second. This is definitely more than I ever did before. Uh, even this 300s, that's more than uh, and what we had. Uh, down here I finished the uh, ore patch and this nest here got a bit too close so I had it to rein it in because uh, the, the spitters uh, attacked the, the wall while it was not yet finished um, but all good now and if we look at where we are at uh, in our various science labs we can see copper and iron is looking good what's not so good is the petroleum and that's probably also why we might have some hiccups um, so i think we will add another facility like uh, this one and we will add it here i think we can we can copy this and just maybe have the the line in not from from this side or we could have it from this side Yeah, let's let's try that and that should give us more petroleum gas uh, we can see here we are not we don't have quite enough but from the trains waiting here we can see we have enough crude oil and maybe also change this set up a bit uh, so we can have productivity in here uh, and have beacons with speed modules on top. So let me figure that one out and uh, then uh, we can see what's up next. Looking at our science output, we are getting there. At least the dips down here are getting shorter and shorter here we had one that did not even reach uh, the all to the way the bottom and here we went down and then up again and maybe part of the reason is we now have basically all stations satisfied and over here I added another petroleum station 
uh, which currently has enough petroleum to, uh, to pick up, but I did not leave it at that. I added another one down here, uh, because why not? And these uh, petroleum refineries are a bit more difficult uh, to place because they need access to, to water. So while we have uh, a good spot to place them, we should make use of that. Uh, but uh, adding all this uh, taxed our power uh, quite a bit. So we, at least short while ago when I looked, uh, we tapped out at uh, max power. Um, so I guess it's time for another uh, nuclear power plant. We do have the blueprint so we can slap down one here in the middle. It's more a question of resources than anything else at this point. And once we have sorted out power, then we uh, can see uh, what else we add uh, to improve science production. What do you know? Most of our stations are now well supplied, but by the looks of it, we have these ones here. Those are the coal ones. And of course, this old coal field is running low. We have another one here, but yeah, not that great. So maybe it's time to hook up another coal field um, we have one up here that we can use and while on the subject let's have a look uh, where we stand and we are at a solid uh, a, or above 350 science packs per minute and i think that's only due to the fact that we pushed the effort of supplying the materials adding uh, copper fields adding uh, iron fields uh, adding uh, petroleum refineries so that we can push up this number and i think here uh, with the research, we cannot really go higher than, than 250. Um, if we have a look here, we are doing pretty well. Most of the, of the labs are researching, but every once in a while we see a drop there at the, at the top line, because of course, Six of the seven science packs are funneled top down. So that's why, at least in the, in the top line, not all labs are researching. So maybe we have to come up with, with a better uh, layout um, for these science labs. Uh, maybe something where we can then also uh, add speed modules to the whole thing so we have less uh, labs but the research happens happens faster uh, and then maybe instead of, of just one uh, lab set up have two and that would then also mean have uh, a bit of uh, logistics here on the input so that the science packs are getting distributed more evenly but of course first we have to see that we can get in science packs uh, faster 
than we can consume. And I think we are not that far off. One train holds 8,000 packs and in the chest there are 16,000. So that's, that's roughly two trains worth. So if we can keep this up, we should see the number of science packs going up and up also for, for space science until we, we reach uh, uh, 57,000. But let me hook up the coal field and then let's have a think about a different science setup for the science. I think it's finally time that we come up with a different setup for this lab. And speaking of it, if we look at the numbers, we can see that space science is rising. So we are producing more than we consuming, but the chemical science and utility science, they are on a downward trend. So that means, I think, looking at those numbers, we should add another factory for the blue signs and one for the yellow signs as well. But first, let's figure out uh, how we want to restructure this setup. I have investigated two uh, approaches. One is this one, nicely tileable, or yeah, it's tileable, um, containing two labs and uh, two beacons, and we have uh, in total four belts, uh, same as we have in, in the current setup, and we have direct insertion from the belts. And yeah it's nice but i think i like this setup here better where we basically distribute the science packs uh, with uh, logistic uh, and then have um, four uh, labs uh, feeding from one chest uh, and uh, with this setup we have uh, research speed of 600%, uh, same here. But I think here is this setup, we are losing a bit more space as we also have to accommodate the, uh, the uh, undergrounds. So I would think this is a bit more compact. And if we, uh, if we uh, tile this, we will have even more beacons so even more speed up going on there so how do we approach this uh, i'm thinking we cut things off here um, we will replace these chests with uh, buffer chests uh, have that like so and then we will need quite a few um, quite a few robot ports so let's add them in here we don't need these Um, let's copy that over and then distribute the remaining signs there. And we will have to do that for all the, for all these chests, uh, pick 
those up. Uh, maybe have the personal robot off. And then eventually we will run out of um, of, of things here, but that's fine because we have to, to tear everything down so we can build up the new setup. The robots are flying, delivering science packs, and we can see, at least at the moment, all our science labs are producing, uh, I think, save one all got reused so we have basically the same amount but of course we are now researching much faster so if we look at this one we have a uh, hundred uh, or thousand three hundred percent speed uh, versus the 420 um, or no that's that's wrong what was it originally if we place one down, we had 250. So that's roughly a thousand percent more than, than we originally have. And this of course has an impact on the, the speed we are researching. Uh, we are now consuming 1,500 science packs per minute. Uh, and this is not sustainable but we can get or we could get up there if we had long enough um, but looking at um, where we stand with um, our science packs we see we have completely run out of space science we have run out of chemical science and uh, all the other signs are also dropping, save the military signs, because I think military science is not involved in the, in the current research. So, as mentioned before, uh, I will plop down another facility for uh, the chemical science and the utility science, uh, and then next time we'll add even more things because this is the end of this episode and uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and tune in next time when we will scale even further. Until then, goodbye!